Welcome to Cooking with Maine. And today, this is Maine. We're going to be making, what are we making today, Maine? We are Maine? making nachos with carne asada and ground beef. All right, so let's walk us through it, please. Okay, so what we're doing right now is the fixings for the top of the, of the food. So we have white onion and we have cilantro. White onion, um, chop it up to where it's diced, not to where it's minced or, or thicker. And then we're gonna mix in the bowl here. And then what I did, I got cilantro. Now, depending on how many people you got, go by, you know, how much you have. Because I have right now about six people. So I got three things of cilantro. So I just chop it up in there as well. I just, you know, chop, uh, diced it to where it was at least a little bit, you know, falling apart. Okay. And then you're going to get lime juice. This is my favorite lime juice. It's at the produce. You just open the top. Okay. And then depending on how much you want, doesn't matter how much lime juice you put in. You can put a little bit, a lot of it. It doesn't matter. I like to put a lot. So I just almost do half the bottle. And then I like to do it early so it can soak and, and get all the juices in there. So by the time you put it on top of the nachos, it has a good, good flavor. And then you just mix it all together until it's really, really good mixed. Okay, to where it's really, really mixed. So that's how that's supposed to look. Okay, so we just set that to the side after it's done. Okay, so here's another thing that I did as well. It's called pico de gallo. And what it has, it has tomato, it has cilantro, it has jalapeno, and it has red, to, uh, red onion. And then I put salt, pepper, and lime juice. I mixed it a little bit earlier today so that it can keep the juices together. So you just mix that up as well and put, again, how much lime juice you want in there, how much jalapeno if you want it spicy. My, you know, my family loves tomatoes, so I put a little bit more tomatoes in it. But that also is a good topping for the top of the, um, of your nachos. Gagne asada. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the heat on pretty low, like low medium. Okay, because we're going to have it sitting there in the pot for a little while. Um, I go to Smith's and I get the one that's already marinated. And, um... It's really, really good. You guys will really, really love it. You can go there, you can go to the you know, Spanish store out here. We have La Bonita, we have Cardinas and Marianas. But you know, I like going to you know Smith's. So you just get this, it has you put it in there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw it in here, we're gonna cook it, and then as soon as it looks pretty good, like pretty cooked, then we're gonna um, take it out and then we're gonna dice it and then we're gonna throw it in there on low heat and just let it uh, simmer. Right, and then we're going to put a lid on it so that it can cook all the way through. Because if you don't put a lid on it, it won't cook like that. It'll just cook the outsides until, you know, it gets in there and then it might burn. So we put the lid on there and have it go through the cooked meat. So now we got our ground beef. I do have three pounds here. I'm going to do about half of it. It's going to have a lot of garden asada. So what we're going to do, we're going to go hang out the ground beef. We're going to go in there, kind of chop it up a little bit. I might add just a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more of a chunk more. So I like to do a lot because I know family loves meat. So we're just gonna do that. Okay. Low medium. So we're just gonna do regular ingredients. Maybe the salt and pepper, and then we're gonna use garlic. And then we have a new thing. It's called Meat Magic, my favorite, favorite seasoning. So basically what you do, you just season these until you feel like it's right for you, okay? I don't measure anything. I just I just go until I know it's satisfying. You can always, you know, add more seasoning later by the way you taste it. But I just put as much as I feel. And my, my man loves his seasoning. He likes everything to taste really, really well. So we go with the pepper. So just so you guys know that pepper actually makes the seasoning very, very well. Sometimes even the pepper makes it a little bit spicy. So pepper has a really, really good taste to it. So I like to add a lot of pepper. Pepper is great. So we'll just do this until I feel it's right. Okay, and now we're going to add the garlic. I'm going to cover it. Okay. 
Now we're just going to mix it up a little bit with the spatula. Get it all the way through. Okay, now that we've kind of mixed it up a little bit, we're going to get the meat magic now. Again, don't be shy. We love flavor. Nothing bland. Nothing bland in this house. Again, we're going to mix it. Remember, you got to be careful with the gardening asada because it is a little thick that when you do cook it, you don't cook it um, on high too, too long because it'll dry out the meat. So we're going to let it go for a little bit longer to where both sides kind of look a little brown. We're going to take it out and we're going to chop it. We're going to throw it back in on low and then it's going to cook throughout the whole meat again. Time to make the nacho bowls. All right, so you can get any type of tortilla chips you want. These are my favorite right here, Don Julio. They're airy, they're light, and they go really great with nachos. Okay, so, and then I also got this cheese, Mexican style blend cheese. Okay, it could be any brand. I get Kroger because it's just as good as anything else. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. going to do we're going to cut it in half so we're going to put a little bit of chips in there first a little bit in there first a 
Okay. I get our cheese. Okay. You can put as much as you want. Doesn't matter. Okay. And then. where we want it okay and then, oh my god put it over here over here okay. so now we're gonna do you can put again as much meat as you want Remember that one's yours, okay? Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna add more cheese. This for a little bit longer, like 30 seconds. <laughs> Is that still recording? <laughs> I started back. Perfect. Do the cilantro. Again, you can put as much as you want. Again, I can't remember which one's yours. I think this yellow one might be yours. Mix it up. Let's see what we got. I got a fork here, but I'm not going that route. I'm going to just do great taste test. Old school. Got a little bit of... You can see that. Mmm. 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 It's so good. No, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good.